Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 28th, 2022. Well, I apologize, guys. This video is going to be a little bit late. I had another technical problem this morning. I've lost the blog, and um, so I'm re-recording -re a video here this morning for you. So I'm going to probably move quickly. It may be shorter than normal. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, we have had a real challenging uh, market here where we look like we're going to get moving and then we don't and we have all of this uncertainty um, within the market as we're waiting on the Fed to raise rates. We're trying to figure out how to deal with some of these um, earnings misses. So let's take a look at the Dow here quickly. As you can see, we had a really rough day yesterday trying to push up and then giving it all back by the end of the day. And we still have this uncomfortable situation with substantial resistance above in the chart. We are trying to get a little bit of a lift today, had a little fewer, uh, a bit more of earnings that um, perked, up the, perked up the market here just a bit but still a lot of uncertainty out there. So keep an eye on that. Now, um, Dow is holding on to the diamonds, holding on to this price support area here in the chart. And it is one of the strongest of the indexes right now. And isn't it all that strong, as you can see? Um, certainly we have downtrends that we need to deal with yet in the chart. But watch this carefully as we rally back toward these resistance levels, kind of like we saw yesterday. We popped up in here. We just couldn't get her going. And those bears came back in to defend up in that area. So every time we rally, watch those areas. And of course, if we were to break this low, um, then we have that very real chance that we could test some of the lows here in uh, 2022 here on the diamonds. If we look at those technicals on the chart, certainly not an improvement here. As a matter of fact, they continue to show that there is a major area of resistance right through here that may be really challenging for us to get through, particularly thinking about what the Fed is going to be doing here uh, very, very soon. Then let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Certainly an ugly situation here where we tried to get them going and then left that um, ugly inverted hammer type pattern, which can sometimes tell us that we're going to get a relief rally finally. But if you notice right in here, um, holding on to that support by just barely. And as we push up, watch these resistance levels in the chart. These are going to be pretty challenging for us to push through. So if we if we get through this first level, that'll be that'll be a good start. Um, this next level is going to be a real challenge to get up through there. And keeping in mind all of these downtrending moves that we have here in um, the SPY are adding those additional layers of resistance in that chart. Of course, if we were to fail, it would be really unfortunate because if we lose um, this support area here in the chart, then we've got some ugliness coming our way because there's there are support levels through here, but not substantial ones. So we could fall pretty pretty hard if that were to occur. If we take a look at those technicals here in the chart again, not improving, 50-day uh, moving average moving into decline here, and our shorter term moving average is looking to cross down through, creating additional resistance in that chart right up around that 50. So we're going to have to watch that pretty close. Our QQQ, well, my goodness, QQQ actually fell through the support here, but we held on um, the support of 2022. Um, we held on just barely at the end of the day, um, um, trying to hang in, and then those earnings reports uh, giving us a little bit of a lift here right now this morning. But certainly we have lots of resistance above in this chart. We have lots of downtrends that we're going to have to be dealing with on this way back up. And it is nice that we're uh, bouncing off of this area, but we certainly can't um, remove that risk that we could pop like we did yesterday and then still turn back lower here in the chart. We'd hate to see another pop and drop um, at this point in time. And then if we take a look at our um, technicals here in this chart again, pretty dismal. We're down below our 500-day moving average and we're popping up there to test that 500-day moving average. So it is 
theoretically possible that we um, run into that price resistance and still roll over. So keep that in mind. Notice our shorter term averages crossing down through the 50 day um, creating an extra level of price resistance here in the chart that's going to be really challenging for us to cross back through. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM uh, broke down through support as you can see here lost that level but at the end of the day tried to just kind of hang in there but we lost um, set a new 2022 low here on IWM certainly nothing bullish in this chart um, lots of downtrend issues lots of um, resistance issues as we move back up so we're going to need something special maybe to push that back through so keep an eye on that as we start to approach some of these resistance levels and those downtrends that's where we could find those entrenched bears and once again if we look at the technicals obviously not a good situation our 50-day moving average um, pushing down toward the 500-day um, notice we could get a cross over there before too long and notice our shorter term moving averages have crossed down through that 50-day creating that extra level of resistance in that chart now if we take a look at our VIX yesterday we had a little push in um, back and forth by the bulls and bears but we really didn't change anything much here in the VIX closing above 31 handles here on the day um, still showing quite a little bit of price volatility in the market that we're going to have to watch really closely um, now if we can get that little bit of a rest or pullback notice it if we can push back in here come back in around that 25 handle that would be a nice a nice pullback but we still have that potential that upside trend and things in the market so we're going to need we're going to need to get past some of these things you know like FOMC rate raising um, that uh, before we really get going and remember we've got still those uncertainties out there with China suffering Japan running into some issues um, currency wise um, they're kind of on the brink of uh, catastrophe over there and then of course Russia Ukraine just adding all of those uncertainties here in the market if we take a look at our uh, t2122 the t2122 indicator um, is pretty much buried down here in the bullish reversal zone and I really thought we would get a little bit of a relief rally yesterday and we tried but it just couldn't hold so watch that closely here um, we are overdue for a, a little bit of relief but that doesn't necessarily mean we zoom all the way back up what it means is we maybe come back up and test some resistance areas in the chart maybe test some of those downtrends but um, I would be really careful and cautious and thinking we're just going to rip right through there um, with out of stop so watch that closely our t2108 um, certainly didn't help yesterday uh, we went on down and we broke through these um, support levels in the chart making lows we haven't made new lows so I gotta say that's good um, we haven't dropped into new lows here so the bulls holding a little bit better 30% of our stocks holding above that 40 day moving average not exactly bullish our t2107 very similar situation where we um, broke down through that support level we've been talking about in the chart pushed on down through there um, breaking some trends holding the downtrend 30% um, of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average but once again I'll say it is a little bit of a good news point that we didn't break down into new lows here on t2107 that may give us that little hope that relief rally is close so let's take a look at our t2101 and we can see in t2101 finally giving us a little bit more um, action here obviously the momentum has been down in the market and it's showing us that momentum in t2101 and some of those uh, volume numbers have been coming up in the selling so keep a close eye on that Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, we have um, reason to be holding our breath maybe just a little bit on our economic calendar this morning. We have a GDP number. Um, GDP about the last time was over six. Um, consensus estimates for this time, 1.1. And there are folks out there estimating that GDP could come in this month at zero. So 
watch that closely. That could be one of those major hangups in the market, um, could be one of those reasons that the bears come back in. If we can do a little bit better than that 1.1 or come in at 1.1, perhaps we can maintain this bullishness for a little bit of relief rally. But obviously what, what we're looking at is an economy slowing. So um, keep a close eye on that number when it comes out here in a few moments. And then if we take a look at uh, jobless claims, jobless claims are expected to um, be just a little bit less than last time. Remember, last time we ticked higher. And I think there may be a possibility with the Fed raising, the economy slowing, consumers being constrained, we could actually start to see more layoffs. We, you probably saw that um, article that Robinhood is laying off um, 8 or 9 percent of its total workforce. Um, um, as a result of things slowing down there. So we could start seeing those numbers tick up just a little bit. Um, so just fair, fair warning if that comes in and a little bit of a surprise increase in those. Keep in mind that we've got uh, natural gas, we've got a Fed balance sheet that nobody um, is too concerned about. And then of course, we have um, bond auctions, of course, that we'll want to be paying attention to because those have been pretty sensitive here recently. Um, and then as you plan forward, I wish I could say it's going to be an easy day on Friday, but no uh, personal incomes and outlays, employment costs index. We've got the Chicago PMI and then my favorite indicator out there, consumer sentiment. So keep a close eye on that. We'll want to watch those closely. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar now our earnings calendar guys uh, my whole blog was wiped out but I recreated really quick the notables um, here for today so if you guys can take a look at that there are some of the notable stock reports out there today we've got Apple and Twitter and AEM make sure you take a screenshot of this or pause the video if you want to go through these here this morning but we have a lot of um, earnings events here today Apple and Twitter of course after in the afternoon We've got PayPal this afternoon. Um, a lot of um, potential market moving um, events here today. So keep a close eye on that. We can't rule out the possibility of some extreme volatility as a result. So watch those closely. Then um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that quick favor, and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And thank you to everyone who does take the time to click those thumbs up buttons, leave brief comments. It helps the channel to continue to grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your kind support of the effort. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that may have some potential. Um, um, you'll want to be a little bit careful with these, again, because there's a lot of volatility in the market. Now, a trend that I actually picked up yesterday that you may like or not like, but I picked up Delta Airlines and it's following through a little bit this morning um, in the open. Um, as you can see, Delta, nice little upside trend going on here, trying to push on through. Clearly, it still has this resistance in here that it needs to deal with, but I picked that up yesterday. So I have a little bias on that trade, um, but I thought I would show that um, as we're trying to pop this resistance here in the chart. Delta Airlines, keep an eye on that. You can also look at UAL, UAL looking good here breaking through some of that resistance, holding, got a little bit of resistance above, but UAL is another very good looking um, airlines chart trying to set up. We've got LUV, now you'll want to keep an eye on this, LUV reporting this morning, um, and you can see a little pop and drop on that, but also those nice little upside trends um, in those patterns and still trying to pop some of that resistance here on some of these charts. So travel stocks trying um, pretty hard to pick up, um, but there's been quite a little bit of back and forth, quite a little volatility in them. So you're going to have to be uh, careful the way you trade those. Also, I gotta say guys, um, continuing to take a look at defensive sector stocks 
they've just been pretty darn good, even though uh, they've had just a little pullback recently. Take a look at Colgate Palm Olive here. Holding in here in this nice pattern, we've been moving down. We tried to pop yesterday and didn't quite get her going. But if we can get a little bit of additional um, push in today, we might watch some of these. Um, there is a clear and undeniable rotation into um, these consumer staples, consumer defensive type stocks. So watch that closely. We're going to hear from Hershey today on its earnings report and you can see trying to pop a little bit here this morning on its earnings report but um, this has been an undeniable upside trend and what we have seen guys is we've just seen food stocks um, um, KHC uh, for example holding very nice trends and even though yesterday turned into a rather bearish day a lot of these food stocks held up really really well so keep an eye on those also take a look at some of those over there in ag um, Archer Daniels ADM pushing up here yesterday even though the market was selling off we see ADM trying to move on higher and cross back above now my rules on this is when we lose a price support like that when we drop through a level then what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that stock to recover that support area and then looking for that to um, hold up here and then we can resume that upside trend so keep an eye on Archer Daniels it may be coming around for a pretty decent trade um, another trade um, I've been keeping an eye on and unfortunately um, it hasn't quite got her going and we've got earnings coming up here pretty soon um, earnings on 5-2 Clorox has been trying to deal with this area notice that gap above just hasn't been able to move through that area but watching still keeping a close eye on those charts and watching that pretty closely you might also want to keep an eye on um, some stocks in the steel area US Steel reporting today um, this has broken some support in that chart so this can go either direction if this breaks on down um, then we've got a little bit of a problem here in um, our chart and we'll want to watch that pretty carefully um, watch in just a second I'm changing this um, there we go if we were to fail right here um, that's a beautiful setup for short and a lower high however if we were to continue on through to the upside just notice right in here we need to get back up through there hold that higher low and then we could get going so earnings may do that for us here in X we'll want to watch that pretty closely here today as well take an, uh, a look at um, some of the stocks out there in the energy area um, take a look Exxon Mobil um, yesterday um, rallying back we we had this a little bit of a sell-off here in some of those energy stocks but they're perking right back up um, we'll want to keep an eye on that I, I tell you guys when food energy and housing continues to move up our inflation problem is not getting better it's getting worse so we'll want to watch these closely if these continue to move and even break on out um, then uh, we can just expect the Fed to be very aggressive coming here next month so watch that really closely so with that guys hey I'm gonna wind this up a little bit shorter than normal and it's just because um, I uh, this video is already going to be late but I want to wish you guys all the best today be safe be careful out there could be a wild and volatile day um, if you're inexperienced make sure you're um, standing aside um, keeping that capital safe until some of this volatility drops away and we get a little bit more clarity on which way um, institutions want to take this market Everyone take care, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Before.